A few months ago, I designed this battery clip for Milwaukee M18 cordless batteries. Drill batteries are a great power source for projects since all the battery management and charging is already solved, and it's something you might already own being in any power tool ecosystem. But aftermarket clips are sort of price gougy, so I developed two economical versions to tap into these batteries. This printed clip was my first attempt, but some projects are not all vehicles and they might not need a clip solution that's so robust or mechanically clipped onto the battery. So I came up with this alternative, which is a printed circuit board with spade clips. The power is routed through a ATC fuse and broken out to three and a half millimeter pitch screw terminals. To put it together, just solder the spade terminals to the board. You might be tempted to insert these into the battery for alignment, but don't. That would be soldering on a live circuit and you might regret it. You can solder the ATC fuse holder or just jump this with some solid core wire and then solder the screw terminals if your project needs them. The printed part is optional, but I think it's useful to avoid transferring any twisting forces into the battery terminals. This board is attached to the printed clip with threaded inserts and M3 screws. The LED and 3.3K resistor are optional, but I like them as a reminder that the terminals are live whenever you insert it to the battery. That means that these terminals are also live too, so be careful with what you drop on them. Okay, hold on. I've got safety in mind with having a fuse in this whole assembly, so these little live terminal bumps that you could incidentally short out, I have to fix. So I made this 3D printed bumper that is secured with the middle screw, and while I was at it, I changed all the threaded insert holes to M3 thread forming screw holes, so it reduces the mechanical fastener parts by half. It's just easier, more economical. Okay, now I'm happy with this. And that's it. You can get this PCB as a kit on my Tindy store using the links in the description. Thanks.